Hi there, today we're going to learn how to VPN and remote desktop from your iPad. This would apply to your iPad and any iOS device like your iPhone or your iPod Touch. So, uh, we're going to do this under some assumptions. The first one is that your company has a firewall with VPN capabilities. In this case, we're going to use a firewall made by Cisco, so a Cisco ASA, uh, using the IPsec protocol. And this is the one that we would recommend to all of our clients. So, first thing we need to do is hit the settings button, head over to Wi-Fi, and you want to make sure that you have an active connection, and in this case we do. Uh, next, go to General, then Network, then click on VPN, which currently says Not Connected, and now we want to add a VPN configuration. So, I'm going to choose the IPsec protocol. Currently we have three, L2TP, PPTP, and IPsec. Since we're using a Cisco firewall, we're going to use IPsec. And then you see the Cisco brand come up. Uh, so we have a couple fields here, it shouldn't be too difficult. Description, you can call that whatever you like. I'm going to call it ETNY, just the initials for our company. Server is the IP address for your firewall. Uh, which we can give you if you don't have. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Okay. In account, you would enter your username for VPN. Again, if you do not have that, we can provide you with it. And in password, you would enter the password that we would provide you with also. And you might already have this stuff too if you VPN from your home computer already. Uh, the credentials would be exactly the same. Group name we will provide you with as well and I'm going to enter the one for our company and then the secret So once you filled all that out you want to ignore the proxy at the bottom and ignore certificate, leave that off and then click save so now the configuration has been created, uh, now we just want to connect. So I'm going to press the on button right here from off to on, on the VPN. See now my uh, username is already filled in as I entered it before. And I want to re-enter the same password that we put in earlier for your VPN profile. And there you go. So immediately you see it says connected and there's a counter indicating how long you've been connected for. And then you'll see a VPN button up here. Uh, or VPN icon. So now that we VPN successfully, the next step is to uh, remote desktop into your work computer. Uh, for this, we tested out several apps, and the one that we like is 2x Client. And if you pull up the App Store and you just type in 2x, as in the number 2 and the letter x, uh, it should come up as the first result. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. We've already downloaded it. Uh, so currently we have no connections. I'm going to create one by pressing the plus button right here in the top right. And under these two options, you want to pick RDP connection. First field here is alias. And you can call that whatever you like. That's just a nickname for your computer. I'm going to call mine Rudy. And save that. In your address, you want to enter the computer name. Uh, which if you don't have, again, we can provide you with. Uh, mine is etny dash w dash zero zero seven and then click save port number is three three eight nine you want to leave that as it is username you want to enter your domain name in my case it's etny and then a backslash your current username for windows as in the one that you use to log in at work every day uh, it's important that you, log, you enter the domain before your username. Uh, that way you're connecting to your domain account rather than to the local computer. And then click save. Password would be the password you enter to log into your Windows computer every morning. Okay, once you're done with that, um, you want to click save. You can ignore the settings below that. And we're almost done. Uh, 
just click on Rudy as in the recently created profile and then you should see this come up so there you have it that's a VPN I'm just gonna take a stroll here and show you around uh, how I remotely connected to uh, a Windows machine from my iPad and for the most part things work and and they work pretty well I can do things like scroll open up an email open up my iTunes and there you have it so um, if you guys have any questions just please leave a comment in the uh, post below and we hope uh, you enjoy this